Tell them about, first of all, we learned about subspace. Okay, because it was, okay, so I read a lot. I read a lot. And it was something that I had read about, but never really, like, paid no mind. I thought it was just a part of the book. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. She is a real thing. <laughs> subspace. For me, I feel like it's only one of those things that you can only describe from your own personal experience. Because I feel like for everybody, it could feel different. Like, you know what I mean? It could be something different. But, like, it's like, I feel like for me, when I'm in my most submissive state, and it's really, and it really comes into play when there's, like, the pain pleasure boundary is really being played with mm -hmm. it's like you almost feel high like <laughs> you be okay we'll take last night so like remember you was biting my neck and stuff i got the marks or whatever <laughs> he's biting my neck and stuff boom so i have the orgasm from that right feels amazing orgasm boom so it's like from after that orgasm like your body calms down to some extent so then it's like you can I lay down or whatever. So then it's like, but once it's like once my body calms down from that orgasm, it then starts to feel like something else. It's like a it be like little jolts of like electricity through my body. Like that's the only way I can explain. Like that's what it feels like. Like little jolts of like electricity I think through I have my body. Idea. Like tingles or whatever. And then it's like I don't know. It's like then my body feels like the aftermath of like whatever has just occurred. Like you know what I mean. Like whatever what is the word i'm not gonna say harm like whatever force or whatever was applied to my body it's like wherever it was applied it's like those spots all of a sudden it's like they feel like like warm but like i don't mm -hmm. you know like it's like you feel everything that happened or whatever yeah. and then it's just like then it's like sensation <laughs> The sensation, the sensation, and it's like you really like you can't talk. You just you just can only feel it. Like you can't really do anything but just like allow yeah. yourself to feel it because there's nothing else you can do. You know what I mean? And then that's why sometimes you cry because well for me because it's just like there's literally no other way to like express what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean? Like it's literally tears. It's because it's just like it's completely overwhelming. Like. In the best way, though, you know, right. and like the warmest, most secure is like you just feel like love, secure, satisfied. Like you just feel so much that it literally does. It just makes like you saw the tears were just like flowing out my face. Like I wasn't like crying, yeah. but like <laughs> tears were just like coming out my face. And just, like, yeah. Oh my goodness, For me, it really happens when I just slowly like just allow myself to just be be like completely let go like completely step out of like not necessarily consciousness but like consciousness just go with more so what i'm feeling than like what i'm thinking mm -hmm. and boom <laughs> <laughs> should be crazy like because i definitely and it's funny because and that's why i looked at that because i read a book it was this one book that was really, I feel like it really got into like details with like being in some relationships and dominant submissive relationships and all that. And it talked about it, but it was like, okay, because you could, because a subspace could easily be mistaken for like the aftermath of a very, very good orgasm, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's not two completely different things. Like, the aftermath of, like, orgasm, I feel like it's like, okay, like, you know what I mean? But no, like, that's something complete. It's a whole. Would you say it's before the aftermath? After, I feel like you have the orgasm, then you kind of come down from like the orgasm, yeah, and then it's like it's yeah, because it's its own feeling, it's its own, it's its own everything, like because it really is like even because it really happens more so when the person's not touching you, and then it's like then when you touch me, it just sends a whole <laughs> other. <laughs> It gets even 
crazier. And then it's like, oh, shit. That's why I told us, like, I think I need to cuddle. Because as, as in, no, you know, you don't. And then I'm like, okay, I guess that's what I need. I don't know. I mean, you just need the comfort from the person that caused it. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Now, what just happened here? I don't know what the fuck that was, okay? <laughs> I feel like after feeling that feeling, it makes you be like, you want to not necessarily chase that feeling, but you want to keep allowing yourself to go to your limits because it seems like when you go to your limits and when you push your limits, like the reward is <coughs> beneficial. Yeah. So it definitely, and it, it does help that I feel like I trust you as much as I do because that's, I told you I completely closed my eyes when we were together. So. <laughs> Ooh, child. At this point, I've given my soul. You've given it back. I give it back. You give it back. I give it back. Yeah. Playing catch with the motherfucker at this point. Yes. Whoo! Yeah, I realized, though, it really is like. Yeah, it is because, like, okay, yeah, you know what you're doing. But I also feel like it's because, like, one, you know my body. So, you know, like, what I like, which helps. And then, like, we love each other. <laughs> we love each other. We like each other. We like each other. <laughs> so, we have, like, a connection. So, like, I feel like that makes the sex very different because I've never had sex with someone who I really, really like give a fuck about it's like you love them but you don't be in love with them you know mm -hmm. so it's like nah. soul connected yeah. love so it'd be different it's definitely a soul connection definitely because yeah you we be having sex with the soul it'd be our, our souls we having sex yeah Not our, like, temples, our souls yeah we every it's like everything just kind of you know yeah, yeah. Maybe the soul is not the body. Yeah, so sometimes I definitely don't. It be I don't even know how to explain. So it's like, yo, that's not like what is going. On? Something's happening. Like the same. You feeling it, babe? This is not human. <laughs> this is stupid. Fuck society's rules. Ooh. Find yourself space. That's a nice First picture of, with the sunshine. Find you a, a good dom. Or not even sometimes, well, in some cases, I feel like if you're really, really more into the pain, find you a good dom because you need someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to infi inflicting pain for pleasure. But if you are just like a regular person or whatever, because I feel like some space is definitely something more BDSM or whatever. But like even just to feel certain levels of orgasm and all that, like just find you a person who like, you connect with because even if the love isn't there like even if you don't necessarily aren't in love if you have some form of connection and most of the time it is a sexual connection like the sex will be good you know mm -hmm. pay attention to each other's bodies so. and i find myself like <coughs> wanting to be penetrated by you but wanting to feel you so that's why i enjoy being penetrated by you because i need to feel you as well as being penetrated by you I'm not even assuming we type of both, but I will think her somewhat. I do like. I might not like. Like I like anything about you, but as far as like just prior to this stage of my life, mm -hmm. I wasn't a finger me type of person. But I will finger someone just because I like the way vaginas feel. Mm -hmm. They just be like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't at some point. I wasn't heavy on the fingering because my first sexual woman experience. I was using a strap, so that's all I knew at first. That's all I thought it was because I was fucking with a straight girl at the time. So Man. I thought you had to have a strap. <laughs> I got put into the game wrong because you was fucking with a straight girl. I was fucking with a straight lesbian. girl, yeah. right? So for years, I'm like fingering. What? That's childish. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you do think about it, though, 
most of the time, like when you do start hearing about people getting fingered, it's middle school. Like people yeah. be getting finger popped in middle school because it's like that was like saying finger popped. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's what it is. You getting finger popped in middle school. It's like yeah. oh shit, but you realize like no. But I do like, I do like the filthy vagina. Me too. com. period find us in a safe space find us here on youtube or find us on pornhub yeah those are the only three places you can find us those are the only three period